Okay, we're going downstairs to the bathtub. Come on, let's go. Come on, go downstairs. Go downstairs. In the bathtub area. Come on, come on, go get a bath. There we go. Okay, I'm going to wash him in there. Okay, he's in the tub. Of course, you use uh, warm water, not too hot. You know, nice and comfortable. Always have your shampoo ready. I pre pre-mix mine from a concentrate. And you want to make sure your dog is, wow, is literally wet. He's got a lot of hair, so I have to really soak him down and get off this mud. See, I wouldn't want to just rinse him because um, he'll probably still smell and he won't get that clean. Like if it was just his feet, sometimes I just rinse the feet, but he like actually fell in the mud and rolled around in it. So he's got to be really soaked. He's probably washed twice. So I usually do the head last. You know, you could wet the head now if you wanted to, but I think I'll just do the body just to show you. I'm going to wet the body, do one side at a time. Oh my goodness. Very dirty. Yep. I'd say he's the dirtiest dog ever. That I've seen anyway. <laughs> okay, so once he's really wet, um, you want to get your shampoo. And I just put a, you know, put a stripe down his back. Sorry about that. I usually put the shampoo like all over first, you know, and then I scrub after. Put a little bit here and there, down his legs, and then just add as you need to go on. So this is how I do it. I use one hand with the shampoo bottle and one hand to scrub them for now. But I'll be using two hands. Like this. And if you have a long haired dog, it's better that they're um, they don't have a lot of knots because when you wet them, they get all matted, like the hair will stick together and there'll be one big knot and you'll just have to end up shaving them off. So this is my dog. Obviously I'm a groomer. I don't let him get too matted. He barely has any knots, maybe the odd one behind his ear, but I know how to deal with it. But if you're not a groomer, I don't recommend you wash, you keep on washing your dog with all the mats in it. And they're called water mats. I've seen a lot of my customers come in with dogs and, oh, they've washed them, you know, a hundred times and they just don't brush them or they think they brush the top hair and the, it's matted to the skin and they don't understand why i got to shave them. You know, because they keep wetting it and wetting it and wetting it and then mats get tight, tight, tight to the skin. But the outer layer looks like it's brush. But once you try to get a comb through that, it's one big knot. So he's not clean yet. So this would be like the first washing I do. Make sure you really scrub them good. Give him a rinse down and then I'll uh, wash him again. And you don't need to put water in the tub, you just get a spray nozzle. I know I have the grooming tub, but if you have one of these at home, a spray nozzle, you know, if you wash your own hair in the shower, you just gotta wet them down with warm water. There's no need for them to stand and, you know, I've seen people watching them on YouTube and that, they, they fill up the tub and put them in the water. Most dogs, such as little dogs, are afraid of the water, so don't, don't put water in the bottom, there's no purpose for it. Just wet them, shampoo them, rinse them off, get nice towels and dry them off. So that would be my first washing. And then I just repeat myself. 
Actually, he might need to be bathed, so we'll see. I like to keep my dogs really clean. But today was kind of a nice day. It's winter time here. And it was a little bit uh, warmer out, so it thawed out, and on top of the grass was mud. And well, I just let all my dogs have a good time and uh, worry about, you know, the bathing later. I needed a bath anyway, so I figured I might as well just let them get really dirty instead of washing them and then let them get dirty. So I get dirty all at once. When you wash them, make sure you get in his pads. You want to use your thumb and get between there and his nails. Sorry, baby. I don't want to twist your leg. He's okay, buddy. He doesn't like that part. Ah. Same with the back feet. If you want to wash his pads between his toes and his nails. You want to make sure you get all that stuff. And also you want to wash his uh, the private areas, so don't be afraid to touch them. You have to wash them. You get dirty too. And the armpits, don't forget the armpits. You got to get under there. All right, so that's the second washing. Now I'll probably rinse them off again, turn them around, do the other side. Now I don't have to thoroughly rinse them off right now because, you know, once he's all done, I'll give him a really good rinse in and probably use some conditioner and then I'll rinse them really well. So there's no need to absolutely rinse them totally right now. Okay. So you want to see how dirty it is? Look at the water in the tub, how brown it'll be once I rinse them. Here it comes. So I'm washing this other side right now. It's actually wetting them down. And then I'll add the shampoo like I did the other side. Okay, now Oasis is fu uh, fully cleaned and um, conditioned and everything, ready to dry him. You can get a chamois, you know, anywhere they sell chamois, even at a pet supply store. The chamois soaks up a lot of water, it'll save you all those towels and this could be wringed out and used again even if it's wet. So I start at the top of the head, work your way down the ears. And try not to rub your dog too much back and forth because that can cause mats. Especially if you already have mats, you don't want to create new ones or tighter ones. So I start at the head and it's work your way down the back. Come on. Up. Get on the tail. And then I start the chest and just go down each leg. Go under the belly. And 
that got up a lot of water. He's not dripping anymore. Okay, then turn him around. Come on, turn around. Turn around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me just do that. Okay, and then repeat yourself on this side. And by now the chamois, you know, pretty much wet. So I'll do this one time and then wring it out and then do it over again. I can see some dripping areas under here. Let's see how wet that is. So you just wring it out. Like this. Wring it out the best you can. And chamois work best actually when they're moist, so just go over the dog as many times as you want. You can even get another chamois when it's dry and put it all over the dog again to get out more moisture or water from the dog. Good boy. Can you back up a little bit? There we go. Okay, you can even reach the legs from over here. So that's what I do with my chamois. And then I get a towel, and I go over him with the towel. I usually like to rub him one way, because I don't really want to create mats or make them all messy, you know? It's just a pat, patting him down with the towel. So you can do this as many times as you want with the towel, and you know, if you do it at home, dry him a lot, and then you can, if you want, let him run around, shake it all off. And then if you don't have a professional dryer, you can use a, a regular handheld dryer. And if you brush them at the same time or get someone to help you hold the dryer, or they can hold the dryer while you brush them, and that's how they get puppy. Turn around. Okay. Oh, easy boy. Easy boy. Easy boy. And make sure you get the inside of his ears. You don't want the water dripping in there. Okay, so that's how you towel dry a dog. <laughs>